So I got this message, and I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. Is MetaZoo alive again? And I watched Nick's Strength and Pokemon video. So I got this message. Uh, the message was his video. Mike Waddell says MetaZoo is coming back and being purchased. So what will Rudy do if MetaZoo does come back? Curious if he tries to get back in and make money, like a true fraud would. Or if he stays out of it completely. And I said, laugh out loud, it would be insane for Rudy to come back. It shocked me less if Rudy came back, though, compared to someone like Anthony from the Timepiece Gentleman on my other channel, trying to come back when he gets out of the slammer. Rudy will do anything to make money, even if it makes him look like a hypocrite and fool. Laugh out loud, but he got new pump and dumps. I think MetaZoo would be such a bad look even he wouldn't touch it again. And I would hope so, but I'm not 100% sure, laugh out loud. If Mythic Markets came back, I also wouldn't be bet there is a 0% chance Daniel Chang would do another video on it. I'd have a hard time putting the odds at less than 10% or 20%. All These guys all have egos and hate being wrong. When something comes back from the dead, they see it as evidence to help the argue, to help argue they were right in the first place. So MetaZoo, according to Bailey, who is a whatnot streamer, according to Mike Waddell. So if you've ever taken AP history class, you know this is not a primary source or a secondary source. This is I heard from a person who heard from a person who heard. So is MetaZoo coming back? I hope it does, because I would love to see Alpha Investment make more videos about it and how he was right all along and he knew that it was going to go to the moon and he told you. Uh, at this point in time, with uh, the videos deleted, which I'm going to show you evidence of, because you can YouTube the videos I'm going to show you, and realize they're no longer on his channel and they haven't been so for a few weeks, if not a month now. So... Alpha Investment um, is probably, he is the face of MetaZoo. So give him credit. For Sorcery, he is now, you know, he's no longer like promoting himself, his face. Because I think he is a little concerned about Sorcery. To, I mean, otherwise he would put his face in it, right? Because that's what he did with MetaZoo. So the zoo may be back. Uh, it might be Copium. I think it's probably Gopium, and the reason, the logic I have here is actually kind of simple. When you talk about MetaZoo, um, who's going to buy it from a legal standpoint? You're talking about a bunch of lawsuits, small court claims, just a, a, a nightmare of a legal thing. Because you have all these people who pre-ordered and they want to charge back. Your, your bank, your Mer Google, your, not your Google, your Chase merchant account, whatever merchant account they have, they probably are barred from doing it or there will be a hold because they've had so many uh, chargebacks recently. And the reputation is basically zero. And the reputation is what it is right now, which is incredibly bad, especially the Michael Dow character. So to... You know, buy this asset, it has to have something worth buying. And I, I can just kind of put it this way for you. If MetaZoo was coming back, why are they, why is MetaZoo themselves dumping product in the trash can? Which has been confirmed by uh, Jake G. He does comment on this channel. And it has been confirmed um, that the, the evidence looks pretty good to me. He's shown that it's the same place as the Golden Distributor. I find it very curious that, you know, MetaZoo is coming back and it's, I mean, Argos Anonymous is still not back. I, you know, he made this video like MetaZoo dead for the 50th time, positivity, negativity was just shot at me. He gone. So like you telling me like the biggest supporters of MetaZoo, Argos Anonymous, the two biggest YouTubers, at least, I don't know barely how big he is on whatnot. But when we were doing streaming, we would sometimes check on the MetaZoo whatnot. And at most, they had like two people in their room. So I don't know how big MetaZoo was on whatnot. But by the time I live streamed a year ago or two years ago, it was not big. There was no one interested in buying anything on whatnot from the MetaZoo players. Anyway, so basically, let me kind of emphasize some other points here. 
I'm really curious. Um, these are like groundbreaking meta zoo stuff. And Alpha Investment has not made. You know, he. we both know. If he makes that video about MetaZoom being dumped into garbage, 100k views, easy. You you and I, all, we all know this, right? Because MetaZoo, the last MetaZoo video he made has, what, 80,000 views? Has, done, has been one of his best performing videos of 2024, by far. And that's a MetaZoo video. So I, I don't know why he has not made a video about it. I don't know why he's so quiet, why he's so silent on this issue, because I, my gut tells me there is a lot of views he can generate because he specifically is a partner with MetaZoo. He specifically, it's his face on every playmat on eBay and promo. I mean, you go on eBay and you type in MetaZoo playmat. I guarantee you 40 to 80% of what you're going to see, depending on your preferences, will be his face. Like, he literally is plastered. Like, he is the MetaZoo king. You know, regardless of what other people say. I mean, because no one else has that many playmats, that many promos. Thousands, tens of thousands, tw hundreds of thousands of cards with his image on it and the playmat that he was selling. Um, so my, my main takeaway is this, I mean, A, he could make a video, oh, MetaZoo prone to garbage, easy 100K vid video. Then he could make a video, oh, MetaZoo's back, easy 100K video. He hasn't. He's, he's in fact deleted all his videos about the zoo, right? And, and I don't know why, what's going on with him. Uh, subs are down, views are down for them. People make fun of my views. Well, check out his like views and his subs for somebody who is more than 10 times the size of this channel. It's not the greatest, right? And in fact, uh, his Q&A, which was many months ago. In fact, let me see how many months ago these Q&A. He had a 369,000 Q&A. And now he's down to 368,000 subscribers many months later. So he hasn't done his Q&A because it would be kind of embarrassing, right? To do your Q&A when you haven't, that you've actually gone down in subs. Um, but my overall takeaway is MetaZoo could be a boon for him, man. I mean, it could, people are interested in MetaZoo who have never heard of Meta because there's a lot to learn. Like, I don't get it. There is so much shit to learn about MetaZoo. And if it comes back, he will be the first one in line to say, I told you so. I told you we were going to the moon. You guys didn't believe me. And now I bought MetaZoo and we're going to the moon. I, I'm going to grade every MetaZoo card, my grading company. I'm going to get a, whatever grade company it is. And we're going to get a 10. Every MetaZoo card will be automatically graded a 10. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but, let, but come on, people want it. People want to see his MetaZoo take. But instead of, you know, being, you know, and then this is Rudy Chan in a nutshell. Instead of actually going over why did I pick MetaZoo, who, how was the partnership born, how much money did I make. Instead of going over what people actually want to learn, right? Just delete all the videos. Just delete, 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 delete. Turn on the assembly line. I remember when his titles didn't even have MetaZoo in them. Like, I, I mean, I have a, somebody sent me an email of all the videos with MetaZoo in the title, but like something like Turn On the Assembly Line clearly doesn't have MetaZoo in the title, but obviously is a MetaZoo video. How, how many hundreds of videos of those does he have? Not guys. 